list. Costumes and spooky Halloween houses all are associated with the month of October. A holiday, a holiday well known to many Americans happens during this month. This holiday is known as Halloween. Many, you may remember going around with your friends in costumes, going door to door, trying to get as much candy as you can. But do you know where it came from or why the holiday even exists? I know I never knew, and I took this as an opportunity to learn the background of Halloween and why many Americans choose to celebrate it. In this speech, you will learn the origins of Halloween, the different countries that celebrate it, and how Americans celebrate it, and why. First, I'll be talking about the history of Halloween. According to history.com, history and Halloween can be traced back 2,000 years ago in Ireland to the Celtics that believed that the dead walked among the living. This holiday was known as Salmon, and it was on, to honor the dead. They believed that the day after summer marked a time of darkness and death because many of deaths do, occurred during this time, and it blurred the lines between the living and the dead, according to the article Halloween 2018. In addition, the Roman Empire, after they conquered the Celtics, mixed in their traditions with the Celtic traditions of Samhain. Their festival was known as Feralia, and it was also to honor the dead, but it was celebrated in February. According to Halloween 2018, the Roman Church got involved on November 1st, 609 AD, when the Pope created a day called Martyr's Day, which was to honor Christian martyrs. When the Christianity started to spread into the Celtic lands, they started to blend the festivals, and on November 2nd, a day became known as All Souls Day. This was also known as All Hallows Eve, and eventually became known as Halloween. Many different countries also celebrate Halloween, but they have a different way of honoring it. According to Halloween Around the World, state, um, the article stated that Mexico, Spain, and Latino countries celebrate a day called El Dia de los Muertos, it is a three-day celebration of their deceased loved ones, and they would often create an altar where they put flowers, their favorite foods, candies, candles, and many other things. And they would also have huge parades and bonfires and dress up in funky costumes. China also has a day called Tang Chi, according to the website Novarina.org. They would often put food and water in front of pictures of their loved ones to honor them. And they would light lanterns and have bonfires to try to lure the spirits back to their earthly homes. England does something, well, did something a little different. They used to carve lanterns and set them out in front of their doors to try and keep the spirits away. They would also throw food and stones into a large fire pit to scare the spirits away because they didn't want the spirits anywhere near them. Nowadays, they have adapted to the, to the American traditions. And that is my last point. As you know, little children like to dress up in funky costumes, and this comes from the Celtics who would dress in costumes for their sacred bonfire that they would burn sacrifices to spirits. They would often dress up in animal skins and heads and try to read the fortunes of the other people around them, according to the article Halloween 2018. Trick or treat was borrowed from the Irish who used to go around door to door asking for money and food. And then the trick-or-treat phrase came from the 1900s when parents would give treats to the kids in the neighborhood so that they would avoid getting tricks played on them. And as you also know, Halloween parties is also very common. In the 1920s and 30s, Halloween was a community event and they would have um, town parties, but then problems started to arise like vandalism. And as the town tried to eliminate the problem, it became it, they eliminated it and it became a holiday for the younger population. And that's why you see more parties happen in homes of the children or in school instead of a community event. In conclusion, Halloween has a very interesting background that people um, fail to remember or even learn about. In this, you learned about the origins of Halloween, the um, different countries that celebrate it and um, how America celebrates it and why. Halloween traditions have stuck for over 2,000 years and is being celebrated around the world today. I found it very interesting to learn about Halloween and where it came from and that it has a lot of different meanings to different countries around the world. Now that Halloween is coming soon, I hope you all have a better understanding of where it came from. To conclude, here are some pictures of me in my Halloween costumes as a child. <laughs>